Hello everyone, this is Supmaya. Recently we found the electromagnetic flow meter less than $160, so is it reliable? As we all know, practice is the only criterion for testing truth. We bought one to have a test today. Okay, we finally received this electromagnetic flow meter. Let's open the box. First there is a certificate. The packaging is good. It has a piece of foam cotton. Then we take out the product and see the details. Then we take out the product and see the details. I have three direct feelings. First it is heavier. We will go to the factory to weigh its weight. Second, the product tastes pungent. There is a smell of paint coming out of the box. Third, the processing traces are heavier. In many places the welding is not dealt with properly. Just a simple spray of paint. Let's look at the details. The lining of this flow meter is slightly spotted. It's not very clean, but overall it's pretty good. The whole one is smooth. The last point is its welding. As we all know, the good electromagnetic flow meter always uses fish scale welding between flanges. But this flow meter is just ordinary welding. It just sprayed a paint on the outside. So how is its performance? Can its accuracy reach the standard? A few moments later. After half an hour of testing, we got the final test report. After five points, every point is tested for nearly a minute. Finally, we conclude that its basic error is about 0.88%, unqualified. Of course the linearity is not bad the last is 0.7. What's the next step? Let's check its transmission accuracy. Power on, let's take a look at its zero point. In the end, its zero point stayed at 4.48. The gap is big compared to the standard. Let's take a look at the body of this flow meter. See what mystery is inside. Let's dismantle its watch head first. Now we have disassembled the entire head. Next we go outside, cut the main body and take a look. Now let's take apart the watch head and body. As we can see, the circuit structure of the meter head is relatively simple, and the protection is normal. We asked the experts. He said that the hardware cost of this circuit is only currently on the market one-fifth of the mainstream header. <coughs> Second protection is not in place. When removing the coil, we can screw off the fixed workpiece by hand. <coughs> if this is in actual use, the level of vibration resistance is worse. The last one is generally invisible, is its coil. We now see this coil. The outside is covered with an insulating layer. But if you scrape off the surface, you can actually see that it is made of aluminum wire. Compared with the mainstream copper wire, the price of aluminum wire is only one-third of that of copper wire. In use, the resistivity is twice that of copper wire, so it will cause the size of the coil to be large or the resistance to be large. The most critical point is temperature rise. The temperature rise of aluminum wire is much higher than that of copper wire. This is in the case of high temperature medium use. The load impact on the excitation circuit is relatively large, may affect the stability of the magnetic field. The most obvious manifestation is that the high temperature is not accurate. Okay, I will give this flown eater a score. The full score is 5. In my opinion, accuracy level get 1 point. The accuracy of table is 0.8%. Too much difference. Product workmanship get 1 point. We saw it before unpacking. Not good. Service experience get 3 points. Delivery is relatively fast. 
However, the password changed in the manual did not tell me. Price get 4 points. The price is really cheap. Overall score 1.75 points. If you want us to evaluate more instruments, let us know in the comment area. Follow us to know more instrument and automation knowledge.